Greetings. This is Ilya, and I'm happy to be here. It's quite special that we are invited here. So, countermeasures ahead. It will proceed for the next five days, uh, together with 120 participants, and you will see some images of keywords. We are just greeting each other like this. With our, I heard from my dad recently that it's just one second, so we're like, hello, and then we're gone. Korea, there is no Finnish style sauna, so I go to the hot spa room every week. Nepal is still under a national lockdown, have pretty much lost their everyday life. In the regions, only select households can go out on select days. What it's like is that it's not that they're not wearing masks, but they cannot wear a mask because now if you go out for grocery shopping and now she had nothing to wear so she just made something out of her underwear and put it on her face. Well, now talking of underwear, now some people used their clothing. Finland, we didn't really make masks, but now Finland has a lot of trees, a lot of forests, so now they are saying that they're using them to make you know, masks. like uh, women's sanitary napkins. So I saw that on the news, so they would actually wear them as masks. And some cannot be followed for the same reason. So instead of just uh, simply criticizing other countries, perhaps we should be more understanding of each other. The one who has planned and organized this event, and that is Vice Mayor One of Seoul. Vice Mayor Seo Jong-hyo. Please welcome me with a big round of applause. Great to see you here. So we're all new to each other, right? Uh, the international press, stories about cultural differences, how there were some incidences that arose due to that kind of cultural difference. Uh, hopefully through COVID-19, we can be created this new English platform, Cities Against COVID-19, with of information sharing. So that's good, but rather than uh, just sharing information one way, I thought although it's uh, having this type of meeting, share information face to face as we prepare for the era of post covid prevention is a key theme, and then climate, environment, education, transportation, many different dimensions will be discussed. And so each of the different sessions will invite uh, academics and readers COVID-19. Hopefully this event will help. And Mr. Jared Diamond, he is the author of Guns, Germs, and Steel, and he actually has a lot of uh, interest in Korea as well. So he's going to have a special uh, talk session with our mayor, Mayor Park Won Soon. So I think we can look forward to a lot of insight. Um, but uh, foreign students, really, I want to thank all of you. You know why? Well, because they were very good about control, um, checking their uh, health. Uh, and so from the inbound foreign students, uh, in terms of confirmed cases uh, that report positive, well, we did not even have a single case of uh, one of these foreign student cases, but it, it means confirmed case of somebody who suddenly gained weight. But fortunately, uh, some people may have gained weight, but nobody tested positive. And we had discussions with a lot of the universities to provide temporary residence for some of the students who didn't have put us back on guard again and that kind of alert is quite helpful so actually um, we have uh, 400,000 registered uh, foreigners and we actually truly no loopholes and now as we experience COVID-19 the most important thing is to track them as quickly as possible and also find the contacts as quickly as possible to I did mention earlier, but Seoul was able to fight off COVID and also now is known as an international best practice case. Of course, a lot of factors were at play, but I would say that the most important mention is epidemics, no, no book against people will not help at all. Solidarity, cooperation, I would say that they're able to have a wealth of discussion so they will be able to beat off COVID-19. Uh, COVID